Hey, it's Brian from Super Easy Toots, and in this tutorial, we're going to cover another aspect of division. Uh, it's basically integer remainder of integer division. Uh, and basically, we're going to use this percentage sign, which is Shift 5 on the keyboard, to get an integer remainder of integer division. It can be a little confusing. Uh, for example, if you have 5 divided by 2, uh, it's basically is equal to 2.5 so you might think 0.5 is the remainder but that's not necessarily true 0.5 of 2 is actually the remainder 2 goes into 5 time uh, into 5 two times with a remainder of 1 because 2 times 2 is 4 and then you're left with that 1 um, and that's where the 0.5 comes into play. So 1 is actually the remainder. I'm going to show you how this is done in C++. Uh, so if you remember back to uh, the previous tutorial in 9, covering division, we had uh, started off with three integer variables, Warren, Billy, and Mr. Jobs, and we'd assign them the values 50, 56, and 8. Uh, we basically created another integer variable called Warren to Jobs and then divided Warren by Jobs and then we see out of that value and basically since it was an integer it dropped the decimal portion because obviously 8 does not go into 50 uh, a whole amount of times. It, uh, 8 times 6 is 48 so there's a there's still a remainder there so, so there should be a decimal value but if we see out uh, I'm sorry if we debug and run this we're gonna see that that's just gonna come up with a whole number six so we have there um, so if we want to find the remainder what we can do is use that percentage sign that shift 5 to find it now down here I've created another integer value called Billy to Warren and basically it's Billy divided by Warren but this um, this percentage sign is going to give the remainder so what it's going to do is it's going to take uh, 50 into 56 which is obviously 1 with a remainder of 6 because uh, you, you, you have 6 rem, uh, remaining there so that's what value it's going to assign to Billy to Warren so if we debug and run this and we've got our C out statement in there of Billy to Warren you're going to see the value 6 pop up because that is basically the remainder value. Now we can also, let me get rid of these comments real quick. Um, you can also do Billy to Jobs, which is going to be a whole value because 8 times 7 is actually 56. So if we divide Billy by Jobs, with the percentage sign so this is going to give us the remainder it's going to assign the remainder of this to Billy to jobs since jobs since 8 goes into 56 seven times with no remainder goes in there fully there's this is going to assign the value 0 to Billy to jobs so if we debug and run this we're going to see that 0 value pop up in there and there we have it right there so it may sound a little confusing um, and basically it's good to learn this because you're going to write some programs or you're going to see some programs that uh, use the remainder of an integer division um, in, in several programs in, in different aspects so it's good to know this